Great to be with you again today from here from the Total Expert Studios, Expert Insights uh, with Ms. Sue Woodard, our Chief Customer Officer. We are going to talk about customer loyalty today. And loyalty, customer loyalty specifically, has been taking on a whole new importance, particularly as, as we've seen the industry evolving and changing and people realizing the tremendous value and importance that comes along with customer loyalty. So you, you've uncovered some really um, eye-opening statistics. Yeah, recently. I was doing I was doing some research on this and there was a Forrester study that said the majority of financial institutions don't understand at all what drives their customers' loyalty and in fact, 66% were absolutely unaware of why their customers might be loyal to their organization. And you think about how hard it is yeah. to build loyalty, how hard it is, but how easy it is to lose. It's tremendously easy and but if you also think about the value that is there. And the reason there's value there is obviously if the customers are having better experiences and they're having better outcomes, they're going to be more loyal. To, loyal. So right. there's all kinds of win-win reasons that you want customer loyalty. But the fact that so many organizations do not understand the levers that influence that loyalty is is a little bit shocking because yeah. there's so much data that you can get. You can look at reporting. Massive disconnect. Yeah, disconnect. What are your thoughts on that? And let's elaborate on that a little bit. Well, one of the things that we talked about, you know, as we explored to explore this issue is really beginning with the end in mind. Yeah. So even when you're first, you know, engaging with that that customer and they're first coming into your organization, it's really having a map and a plan. And we talk a lot about the customer journey, but understanding what does that lifetime look like with that customer? What are you going to do with, you know, for them over time, for them, their family, their life, not just what's the transaction right here? <laughs> Have, have a plan. So being purposeful and very intentional about how you set things up throughout the customer journey so that you can properly influence loyalty, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that that's sort of the way we've thought about it over the last few years as we've evolved. And this has become such an important piece for so many organizations that we partner with and, and in, including our, our partners that are out there helping, uh, helping the industry. Customer loyalty has had this focus. And I think having clarity of what do you want that end result to be? And if the end result is I want to have a, a partnership, I want to be the financial partner, the preferred institution for the lifetime of this customer. If you yep. start with that, and then you realize that all of these earlier uh, interactions will start impacting that, and you have that that mapped out, if you will, that that's really what you have to do, right? I mean, you talk about beginning with the end in mind. That's what you mean, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, and I even think about where we're at right now, you know, this very unique time that we're at that are absolutely so many people, everyone is being impacted in some way, in some way connected to their finances. And whether it's it's themselves, whether they've got questions and concerns about, can I still retire on time? You know, has my, you know, the value of my retirement plan changed? Um, what about my kids going to college? Are they going to be going to college in the same way? I'm not sure. You know, what's happening with my mortgage? You know, there's yep. so many questions that people have. And it's one of the greatest ways to gain loyalty is to educate. It's yeah. it's not about, you know, that you don't just, sell, don't sell, but educate. And people yep. need it right now. There's just this wide open opportunity to, to gain that loyalty by education. People, people crave knowledge, particularly about something that is so uh, important and has such an impact in their life, which is financial health and wellness. And so if you if you think about uh, how pivotal that is for so many consumers and then realize that as a financial institution, as an organization, a lender, a bank, a credit union, a financial plan or whatever piece of the puzzle that you're in, um, you have the ability to have a financial wellness impact uh, on consumers. Yep. And, and asking the right questions. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's such a critical thing is are you asking all the right questions to really even understand where their needs may be at? Are you asking those open ended questions? You know, tell me more about this. You know, how are you feeling about that? You know, are you thinking about these? I mean, just there's so many questions that you can ask that we have the opportunity to when, again, you're dealing with somebody's financial uh, situation and where they might need help. So to kind of circle back on, on beginning with the end in mind, I have a few thoughts on this and I, and I love your opinion as well. Uh, but, but as an organization, if I think about the fact that uh, I really 
care about the outcomes that my consumers have. I want them to make the best decisions. In fact, we want to help them make good financial decisions, be in the best types of loans, the best types of financial products. And if you start from that position and you you clearly communicate around that philosophy versus a product only philosophy, so many uh, entities and organizations out there have this product mentality to where we need to go after this particular product and we're going to pitch it and we're going to approach it as a, you know, here's the incentive, here's the rate. But if you come at it from a different angle with that end goal of, of true partnership and truly benefiting the, the consumer, uh, the research shows overwhelmingly that you end up with a much more loyal customer. In fact, in many cases, you, you end up with an advocate which Absolutely. is really a powerful thing. Absolutely. And again, you think about that whole life cycle, beginning with the end in mind, when you're talking to you know, someone who's, you know, their whole financial journey is ahead of them. And you, you, but you have this information, you know where they work, how much money they make, yeah. how much money they've saved, where they spend their money. You have this massive information. How are you going to use it? Right. All of these things you have, and it's almost like a shame to not do that and, and really gain that loyalty by, by looking at that and, and being able to map out what that journey is going to look like for them and how you might be able to guide, educate them along the way. And, and to come back on one more point, because I think it's just that important, is having a, a knowledge sharing and education uh, first philosophy with that consumer, helping them understand so many consumers do not understand financial s situations. They don't understand different types of loans. And I think it's a tremendous, uh, unfortunate reality in our country that far too many consumers just don't have an understanding. Yeah, and so, they're afraid to ask. Yeah. You know, that's the thing too. Money is very stressful for people. It I is. I mean, again, it's a, a lot very of anxiety stressful around topic. It, especially now. Oh my gosh, it impacts people's health, their relationships. It's probably the number one people thing that people say they fight about in their relationship is yeah. money, right? And so it's a stressor on you know their health, their their just their well being. And so again, when you position yourself to be that advisor, begin with that end in mind. Be the and guide. Say, How am I going to guide them? That's what brings that loyalty because you've really been in a position to change their life. Awesome. I know something we're very, uh, both very passionate about, uh, as we are as an organization, very passionate about uh, really helping organizations, helping institutions uh, get to that point where they can create that loyalty and, and just deliver that uh, position of, of financial wellness for consumers. Mm -hmm.